Congratulations on your new Apollo Solo USB. In this video, we'll cover how to set up your new interface, including downloading and installing the UAD software, registering your Apollo to your account, and configuring Windows settings. To get started, connect your Apollo Solo USB to power using the included power supply. The power supply is auto-switching, so it can be used in any region worldwide. And snap-in adapters are included for five common socket types. When connecting the power supply, line up the tabs on the power supply's barrel connector with the notches on the power input on the back of the unit, then insert the connector and twist clockwise to lock it into place. Next, connect your Apollo Solo USB to a built-in USB 3 super speed capable port on your computer using a USB 3 compatible cable. USB-C and USB-A ports that support USB 3 can be used. The terms USB-C and USB-A refer to the shape of the connectors that these ports accept, while USB-3 refers to the way that the Apollo Solo communicates with the computer. Not all USB-C and USB-A ports support USB-3. If you're unsure whether your computer has ports that support USB-3, look for the USB-3 SuperSpeed logo next to the ports, or check the specifications listed on the computer manufacturer's website. Similarly, not all USB-C and USB-A cables support USB-3, so be sure to check compatibility before purchasing any USB cables for your Apollo Solo. If connecting to a USB-C port on your computer, use a USB-3 compatible USB-C to USB-C cable. Or, if connecting to a USB-A port on your computer, use a USB-3 compatible USB-C to USB-A cable. Connect the cable to the Apollo Solo via USB-C. Beware of charging cables or cables that only support USB-2. These cables will often look identical to the USB-3 compatible versions, however they will not work with Apollo Solo USB. USB adapters and hubs can also be used as long as they directly support USB-3. Check out the cable guide at help.uaudio.com for more info. Once you've powered on your Apollo Solo USB and connected it to your computer, you're ready to download and install the UAD software. The UAD software download contains all drivers and plugin files that you'll need to use your Apollo Solo and UAD plugins, as well as two applications. The UAD meter and control panel, which is used to manage UAD plugin authorizations and system settings, and console, which is used to access Apollo Solo's real-time UAD processing and monitoring features. Go to uaudio.com forward slash downloads to get the latest version of UAD software. You'll need to log in to your UA account to download the software. If you don't have a UA account yet, click the Create an Account link to set one up. Creating an account is free and is required to register your Apollo Solo and claim your included UAD plugins. Once the download is finished, locate the file in your Downloads folder and unzip it by right-clicking and selecting Extract All. Double-click on the UAD installer once the files have been extracted. Continue by following the on-screen instructions until you reach the last page of the installer. Then click the Restart button to reboot your computer and complete the installation. Make sure that the Apollo Solo remains powered on and connected to your computer during this process. After restarting, your web browser will launch and connect to the UA website to complete registration and claim your included UAD plugins. When you're finished, the next step is to authorize your plugins using the UAD Meter and Control Panel application, which can be found in the Start menu under UAD Powered Plugins. Click the blue UAD2 button to open the Plugins panel, then click the Authorize Plugins button to authorize your UAD plugins. UAD plugin authorizations are stored on your Apollo Solo, so you can access your plugins from any compatible system that has the UAD software installed, as long as the Apollo Solo is connected. Now that your Apollo Solo is registered and your included UAD plugins are authorized, let's take a look at how to configure Windows to ensure that you get the best possible performance from your new USB interface. We'll start by preventing Windows from powering off USB devices, which can interrupt communication between the computer and Apollo Solo. First, right-click on the Start menu icon and select Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, Double-click on Universal Serial Bus Controllers to view the individual USB controllers in the system. Double-click on the first USB root hub to open the Properties window. Then click the Power Management tab. 
Uncheck the box next to allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then click OK to save the setting. Repeat these steps for each USB root hub in the list, including any with XHCI or USB 3 in the name. Then close the device manager window when you're finished. The next step is to disable Windows notification sounds to prevent them from interfering with audio from your DAW application. Find the Windows control panel by opening the start menu or search box and typing control panel. Then press the enter key to open it. Click on sound to open the sound window. Click the sounds tab and use the sound scheme menu to select no sounds, then click apply to save the setting. Back in the sound window, go to the playback tab and double click on Universal Audio Apollo Solo USB to open the properties window. This is where you can adjust Windows sound settings relating to your Apollo Solo. On the advanced tab, you can set the sample rate that Windows will use to play system sound through the Apollo. Note that if you change the Apollo sample rate via console or your DAW application, you'll need to set the Windows sample rate to the same setting using the menu on this page. This prevents system sound from being interrupted or played back at the wrong speed. Finally, go back to the control panel window and click Power Options. This page allows you to adjust the power plan for your PC using pre-configured options such as Balanced, Power Saver, and High Performance. On most systems, it's recommended to use the High Performance option, which prevents Windows from throttling CPU speeds in order to save power. If you don't see the High Performance option, click the arrow next to Show Additional Plans to expose it. This step isn't required, but it will help you get the best possible performance from your system when using Apollo Solo with a DAW application. For additional system optimizations that can help improve performance, check out the Windows Optimizations Guide at help.uaudio.com. Windows is now configured and you're ready to start making music with your Apollo Solo USB. Check out our other videos for help configuring your DAW, using the console application, and more.